In this lesson, we're going to be looking at stem and leaf, plots, and histograms. The objectives are to understand a stem and leaf plot and to understand a histogram. Vocabulary for this lesson. A stem and leaf plot, grouping data based on intervals while still showing individual data. Histogram, grouping data based on intervals but not being able to show to be being able to distinguish between individual data. This is like a bar graph, except we're grouping um, things that are close together together. First, we're going to start with a stem and leaf plot. So here we have data, um, money people had in their pockets, this being 50 cents, 75 cents, and so on. What we've got here is I've put the data into a stem and leaf plot. This left side is the stem. This is what we're grouping by. So my first grouping was by zero dollars, second by one dollar, two dollar, three, four, and five. And then I put my leaves on the right side based off of where they group. So the 50 here goes with the zero, meaning 50 cents. We always need a key for something like this. This being three, this being zero five means three dollars and five cents. So this shows each individual system, but it also shows how many are in each part of the stem. So we've got, for the zero, we have two individual parts, but it also shows what those two parts are made out of. Using the same data, we're going to create what we call a histogram, actually two of them, to kind of show the differences. So I still have the same data here, and I have created two histograms which we're going to fill in here. These are like bar graphs, except they're looking for a range of data. The left side is always included in the box, the right side isn't. So zero will be included in this box. For this one, we're going to use the interval of two dollars, from zero to two dollars meaning this box right here is anywhere from zero to a dollar ninety nine because that's just shy of two dollars so any data that falls in there we're going to use to make our box so between zero and two dollars we have one two three four five six we have six data points there so we're going to go from here all the way up to six and we have our first bin. These are called bins here. The bins are based off the intervals. Our next interval is $2 to $4. So we're looking at anything from 2 to three ninety-nine. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have eight um, data points that fall in that space. So we would go from here all the way up to eight. And there's our next set of data. Then we've got four to six dollars. Well, from four to six, we have two. As you can see here, it gives a good idea of the data, but because of the generality of each box, we don't know what individually is in each box. Here we're going to go based off of a different interval. The point of this is showing that our interval really matters. It's going to give us a little bit different, different look each time. So in this interval, I'm going to go from 0 to $1. So here I'm looking from 0 to 99 cents, basically. So in this version, I've got one, I've got two data points in this first one. For the second one, I'm going from one to two dollars, which is from one to 199, because the left side's included, the right isn't. 
So from 1 to 199, I have 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have 4 in that bin. Notice the change in this data. We've taken the 0 to 2 and split it into two parts. And we see most of it was between 1 and 2. So most of this 6 was here in the 1 to 2 range. Now we have 2 to 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 data points fall between 2 and 3. But we can't get up to 3. Then we have from 3 to 4, 1, 2 there. We now have from 4 to 5, well, there's nothing in the 4 to 5 range, so we're going to leave that one empty. Then we have from 5 to 6, which again is 2. So here we have two histograms using the same data looking completely different. So when we do histograms and stem leaf plots, it's going to be very important what we pick for our stem or for our intervals for the histograms. So in the stem leaf plot, very important what we pick for the stem. In the histogram, very important what we pick for the intervals because that's going to change what our graph looks like. Thank you. If there's any part of this that you didn't understand or you just need to watch again, please pause, rewind, watch again, and bring any questions to class. Thank you.